The weather map, or synoptic chart as us meteorologists call them. You see them on the news, in the paper, and in our videos, but do you know what all the lines and symbols mean? You can tell a lot about the current weather just from looking at the features on a map. So let me take you through the basics. Now the white lines on a chart, these are called isobars and they're lines of constant or equal atmospheric pressure. And you'll see these on a weather map no matter where you are in the world. They give us an indication of the airflow around weather features. And you can also interpret the wind strength from isobars with the general rule being that where the isobars are the tightest, most squeezed together, that's where the wind will be the strongest. And where they're the furthest apart or the slackest, that's where the wind will be the lightest. Now it's time to look at the H's and the L's, and these are also to do with pressure. They mark areas of local pressure extremes. So if we look at the H, for example, that's indicating an area of high pressure. And much like the peak of a mountain, no matter which way you moved away from the H, the pressure is going to drop. And in the Southern Hemisphere, the wind flows anti-clockwise around a high pressure system. And an interesting point is that the air in the centre of a high pressure system is sinking, and that tends to lead to more settled weather conditions. Lows, on the other hand, are like the bottom of a valley. They're the local minimums of atmospheric pressure. And in the Southern Hemisphere, the wind flows clockwise around a low pressure system. And in the centre of the low, the air is rising. So lows on the map are normally associated with clouds, wet and stormy weather. And you can also see that the isobars are quite close together around a low. So this is also indicating an area of windy conditions. Now it's time to talk about fronts. Now fronts are the lines and shapes that you see on the weather map, and they indicate a boundary between two different air masses. So we'll start by looking at the cold front, the blue line with the triangles. Now these indicate an area of where cold air is moving in and pushing warm air upwards. So we tend to expect to see a blanket of cloud along the leading edge of a front, which can produce fairly consistent rain. And as a front passes over you, you'll notice a change in wind direction and also temperature. And in summer, there can be quite a sharp drop in temperature behind a cold front. Now the red lines and semicircles over here are indicating a warm front. Now a warm front is where warmer air will replace cooler air. And just like a cold front, there can be quite a marked temperature change when a warm front moves through, but typically less dramatic than what we would see with a cold front. And we do see these less frequently around Australia than we do cold fronts. Now there's other types of fronts too, stationary and occluded fronts. And if you'd like to know more about these, check out the blog linked in our video description. We also see dashed lines like this one over here. Now this is an area called a trough. It's an area of relatively low atmospheric pressure compared to its immediate surroundings. And like cold fronts, troughs are separating two different air masses, usually moist air on one side and drier air on the other. And as the trough moves towards the moist air, it causes the air to lift. And so we see cloud and showers and thunderstorms often developing on a trough. Now, another type of trough that we see in the Australian region is the monsoon trough, shown by this dot dashed line. Now, a monsoon is a seasonal wind pattern and it typically brings heavy rain and it moves in the seasons with the seasons. So over our winter months, we see the monsoon trough move to the north of the equator, far away from Australia. But in the summer, it will shift back into the southern hemisphere and bring a return of the wet season to northern Australia. So. There you have it, the basics of a synoptic chart or weather map, a meteorologist roadmap to understanding and predicting what weather we might experience. You can find synoptic charts and other maps and forecasts on the Bureau's website.